वेलकम बैक व्यूवर्स इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू चेक आउट द एक्स एफ सी डेस्कटॉप ऑफ निक्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट दिस इज द ग्रेटर स्क्रीन ऑफ द एक्स एफ सी डेस्कटॉप ऑफ निक्स ओ एस यू गॉट एसेसिबली फीचर्स यू गॉट द सेशन मैनेजर एंड द डे डेट टाइम ऑन द टॉप पैनल एंड इन द मिडल यू गॉट द लॉग इन सो वी विल जस्ट लॉग इन इन टू द एक्स एफ सी डेस्कटॉप नाउ so this is it this is the xfc desktop with a gray uh, okay so now the wallpaper has come up i thought maybe it was the the gray wallpaper like we have seen in the earlier desktops but no this is the standard uh, xfc wallpaper the blue wallpaper with the uh, mouse in the bottom side of the wallpaper so there is a dock at the bottom and the top panel of the xfc is there so the dis uh, display settings i need to change okay so this is good in other desktop there was a issue in changing the resolution but this is working properly so now what we will do is we will uh, check out the application menu first so you have got the run program that is you can uh, run the program from the given path the terminal emulator this is the xfc terminal you have got the thunar file manager so the version is 4.16.11 so it is quite latest with the latest bug fixes it is available it is a standard uh, xfc file manager that is the thunar file manager you got the mail reader let us check out the mail reader so right now no uh, preferred uh, email application or mail application is there so first you will have to install any mail application then you have to select the mail application as the default mail application then this will work otherwise it won't work then you have got the web browser let us check out the web browser right now no web, web browser is the default web browser so we'll check with yes okay so the mozilla is opening up so mozilla was there installed but it took some time to start up and let us check out the version of the mozilla here i think it should be 106 yes it is 106 version so it is latest one so i will close this down now let us go ahead so in the settings you have got the settings manager so this is the standard xfc settings with the appearance desktop file manager settings notification panel screen saver text editor windows manager windows manager tricks workspaces xfc settings for the hardware you got the display keyboard settings mouse and touchpad and the power manager is there in the system uh, you got accessibility default applications and the session and startup settings are there and there are some uh, settings editor is there so this is the xconf just like the dconf is there for the gnome desktop you got the xconf so you can configure your system for the xfc desktop from here so it is pretty standard nothing is there just we will now go and check out the appearance section so uh, let us check out what styles icons and fonts are there so you got the advaita advaita dark and the high con contrast style is there by default you can add more styles as per your wish in icon section you got advaita gnome high contrast rodent rodent is the default icon for the xfc desktop and the tango icon theme is there in font section you got the sans regular and the mono space regular as the default fonts and you can change those those fonts and there is settings for the menu buttons event sounds and the window scaling so nothing not many styles icons and fonts are there but you can of course install them so by default the xfc desktop for uh, Nix OS is bare bones, so you have to build upon the bare bone configuration and uh, make it suit your test. In accessories section, you got the application finder, the uh, bulk rename tool is there, mouse pad is there, screenshot, task manager, and the Thunar file manager. In graphics section, you got the Risk Reto image viewer. This is the default image viewer for XFC desktop. in internet section you got the firefox in multimedia you got only the payroll media in system you got the nix os manual uh, nix uh, nix os manual manage printing bulk rename the task manager is there thunal file manager is there xfc is there and the xterm console is there so let us check out the task manager 
So you can see the CPU usage is hovering between 1 to 5 percent. Processes are around 134 processes running in the uh, RAM and you got memory usage at around 16 percent and SWAP is 0. So SWAP usage is 0, memory usage is 16 percent. So that's good. Uh, it is quite light on the uh, resource usage side and uh, everything I can see it is quite snappy. There are no lags. There are no issues. Only the fire, Mozilla Firefox opened a little slow for the uh, for the first time. So we can discount that. Otherwise, if it uh, opens regularly very slow, then there is uh, the configuration issue. Then the things need to be improved by the developers. Now let us check out the about XFC uh, section. So it is showing us the system configuration here. So the environment configuration. So you got this NixOS 22.05 Coca, Coca edition is installed. Build ID is 22.05.4093. It is a 64-bit system. XFC version is 4.16. And the uh, my hardware configuration is given at be uh, below. So that's it and on the uh, top panel you got this uh, network manager. This is the power settings. So you got the presentation mode toggle and the power settings are there or the battery settings are there. You have got this DND and the clear log and the notification settings. Then there is date, day date time calendar and this is the uh, user manager with the lock screen, switch user, suspense, uh, shutdown and the logout options. At below there is uh, this dock which contains the minimize uh, windows button or the icon. You got the terminal emulator, the file manager is there, the web browser that is for Mozilla Firefox is there. You got the application uh, finder and you got the uh, home, home directory is there. And then there is nothing uh, else to be shown. Now let us try to check whether uh, wallpapers are there. So four wallpapers are only there. These are the default XFC wallpapers. Nothing is there. So this is a very bare bones uh, XFC desktop that is available in the NixOS. You have to build upon that and uh, change it to suit your test. And we can see the workspace feature. There are four workspaces to switch from. So this is the workspace feature. So now I will stop the video here. See you in the next video. Bye bye.